Throw up the block up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah, yeah. Better yeah. off the worst, I took the good with I'm the bad, yeah. yeah. I done took a ride in the hell, yeah. 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 I done yeah. took a hold down, where to kill me. You know what I'm saying? God damn it. All right. Yeah. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Are you ready? Shit. And welcome back to another episode of Lit Podcast. You know how I do it. <coughs> Hold on, guess y'all. Hope y'all lit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm getting lit. Like. <laughs> this is not fake. This is all real. No rehearsal. You know what I'm talking about? Real good shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I say, man, welcome back to the Lit Podcast. Thanks to all my viewers, man. Say, me, y'all been turning up all the shares, all the likes. It's, it's appreciated, man. I am highly appreciated, man. I love all y'all. Keep sharing this stuff. Keep liking this. Keep running these views up. Hey, I'm at 2,000 subscribers. Let's get this. I'm trying to get 10,000. After that 10,000, I'm trying to hit that 100,000. YouTube, I want my... I ain't gonna start tonight. But like I say, I bring you the hottest artists, the legendary artists, the icons, the up and coming, and everything in between. And it ain't just all about the music. And it ain't always about the artist, too. Artistry is about book writers, business, entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? All y'all, y'all wanna y'all wanna see on po- um, lit podcasts, come up here and holler at me. You know what I'm saying? RB singers too. Don't be scared. Y'all be where y'all R and B at. You know what I'm saying? RB's coming back. Bring it back. But anyway, today, I want to shout out to my sponsor, Soul Lounge. You know, Soul Lounge been holding me down. You know what I'm saying? I got the shroom fizz over here. Y'all got to tap in. I got the fire. I got the live res. You know what I'm saying? If y'all need any of these products, you know what I'm saying? Hit the link in the description. What you think about this in there? Ooh, and that thing was cracking. Oh, oh yeah, that thing was cracking. I had the squares too down there. I gave you too. Yeah, I had oh, the squares. Oh too. yeah, I had the squares. But say, I'm finna introduce you though. You know, so I had to, you know, give me a drum roll around here. <laughs> Welcome to the show. You know what I'm saying? I got a special guest. You know what I'm saying? Come all the way from Seattle, Washington. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, we trying to do 50 states. You know what I'm saying? We trying to do that north, east, west, and south. You know what I'm saying? We trying to do it up big. You know what I'm saying? Today with me, and I ain't talking crucial conflict. I ain't talking no conflicts, you know what I'm saying? But I am talking Tay Crucial. Yes, What's sir. up? What's yes, up with sir. it, man? What's good, my guy? Yeah, what's, what's good, good my guy, man? Shit. It's like it took you goddamn all week to get here and shit. <laughs> God, man, it was a process just mm. kind of going, like, every time I come here to Dallas, it's always something fun. It's always something dope. It's always like uh, every time... You know, with my guys like, you know, uh, T-Squeeze or Cruz, you know, there's always something going on. And I can always plan for something, but it seems like every time it's like, it's like always plan for the unplanned. So, oh, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. So. You never know what's going to go down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Sometimes you might be at the house all day. The next thing you know, you somewhere turning up like, nigga, where the fuck did we go last time? Man, that were, can we go back? <laughs> On me, every time that I've been out to Dallas, it's been an experience, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And so I always try to tell my guys, too, of just like the the welcoming, the warming that people, that Texas people have and just right. in general, too. But just Dallas is just always show love. And I just like, I feel like I got to show love back and just bring a connection back here, too. Uh, you know, I mean, from Dallas to Seattle, Washington, and everywhere else. Too. Already, man. Well, well, I thank you, and uh, and you are welcome. And you know, what I'm saying we're gonna do that southern hospitality here. You yes, know, what sir. I'm saying. Yes, so you already see we already smoking on the ooh wee. You know, what I'm saying ooh-wee. on the ooh wee. Matter of fact, man, check this out right here, man. This shit funny to be look. Screw. <laughs> <Wait>, no. <laughs> Dictation until after you have listened to this short introduction. <laughs> All right, now yeah. that's my little introduction thing right there, man. Yeah, that's my yeah. little scratch shit I be doing and shit. Now nah, that's some Dallas. Um, we are from Dallas. That's a little snippet from the documentary. I want you to go check out, man, to get to know Dallas a little bit more because we got a lot of legends here. Yeah, it you know what I'm saying. That. We got a lot of legends. But before we get to our legends, and I can, you know, what I'm saying, give you a little bit of game on Dallas. I want to, I want you to tell the people once again who you are, and what it's like coming from Seattle. Man, it's kind of crazy just like uh, having this aspect of being. So we're from where I'm from is from Washington State. So if you look at it, it's more like uh, 
like we're like the corner state of America. You know what right. I mean? We catch an uh, we catch an influence from like Oregon. We catch an influence from California, and it's always been kind of like tight knit in that right. way. Um, one thing about Washington is is that we have like kind of our still our own kind of style because mm -hmm. we're right over by the water. We see views. We you know what I mean like we enjoy the seafood. Like kind of just different kind of uh, style like that it brings a brings an aura to us, you know, like it rains a lot out there. So you kind of catch some certain vibes, you know what I mean? Right. Like, you know, uh, we're not always, we may not be always outside, but we're always planning moves or we're just doing something with our families or type of stuff like that. So right. I feel like Washington in itself and where I'm from is just like, uh, it's always been an aura of just like, it's welcoming, you know what I mean? It's, um, and you're going to be seeing some dope stuff, some dope views, you know what I mean? The people are really cool, you know what I mean? They're understandable, too, but it's like also like since it rains there, too, you kind of got to realize like people got to open up, you know what I mean? Right. They see, they see, you know what I mean? Sometimes they might have been inside a little bit, so like they got to get like, uh, you know what I mean, kind of familiar with the setting. So it that. rains every day, all day? Man, probably. Man, you pass that over here. We don't lay down. No blunts yeah, right yeah. in this lit podcast. We getting lit, bitch. No, it's lit. <laughs> I just look around. Shit, you could have put the blunt out. Well, shit, we gonna fire everything. Up. Everything gets smoked everything around out. here. You know what I'm saying? Some of my sweets be tight, and some of my sweets be fucked. Yeah. Up. You know what I'm saying? So it rains every day. Yeah, it's like literally like shoot nine times out of you know. It pretty much rains like almost every every month. You know, once it starts getting to like the. Uh, you know what I mean? Spring, it starts lightening up, but it'll be still pretty cold. It'll be like 60 degrees out, right. you know what I mean? Our style out there is like puffer jackets, you know what I mean? North faces, kind of like, you know what I mean? It's all about kind of like the outerwear, you know okay, what I mean? Yeah, Some places yeah. like, you know, more, when you get to more like the warmer state of on the West Coast of like Cali and all that, you know what I mean? They got like the t-shirt yeah, style, uh, maybe some shorts going on. Right. For us, we got like a pants style, right. you know what I mean? Some shoes, you know what I mean? Puffer jackets. So it, it, it does get cold. Um, it rains, you know what I mean? But, you know, that it's kind of crazy because it'll still rain even during like the summertime. And mm. it's like, it'll be like, one day it'll be like like you know 75 80 degrees and right. then the next day it'll be like 60 degrees right. raining you know me type of stuff so. so is it true that a lot of kids from seattle a certain part of seattle get on the boat go in the water and go to canada to go to school uh yeah 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 that's the if it's i i haven't really heard it myself but i mean man anything's possible like for real with seattle and all that kind of stuff too is like I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it either, but right, you know right. I mean, I haven't really heard it myself. I'll tap in with my peoples and oh, yeah, all that, but yeah. like, no, like, oh, I, okay, that's right. definitely you, like, you, I learn can, your Seattle history. Yeah, yeah. What kind of history you know from Seattle? I mean, like, you know, like, cause when I, oh man, God, Lee, and my, my phone, I always, every time I'm on a podcast, you know what I'm saying? But like, what history you know about Seattle? Because, you know, that's Gary Payton, yeah. Sean Kemp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, So, like, the history with Seattle is, is, like, one thing that we're big on is, like, sports legends. You right. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. even the WNBA teams, too, is, like, big. Like, Sue Bird and all them yeah. cats, they yeah. from Washington yeah. and all that. Yeah, the female team. Goes, yeah. So, like, when yeah. pretty much how it was is that, like, when it, like, you know, because I'm 27, I was born in 1996, so I'm going to tell you kind of what it was like in the early 2000s and things like that. So coming up, it was just an excitement because Seattle is forever growing. Like, if you go to Seattle, there's like, there's one day I counted even like probably three years ago, like at least like 18 cranes. Like they always building stuff. So it's right. always been like kind of just like a building development. Right. They've always been trying to build the boardwalk, you know what I mean? Um, just like... The inner cities and things like that and so how it was is just it was just like a it was just like almost like i don't i don't mean to be nostalgic but it was like almost like eventful like you know what i mean like you had you had like literally the seattle supersonics was leading you had like you know what i mean the seattle seahawks you know and just like you know and then of course the seattle storm was coming up at the right, time you right. know but they were really bigger after seattle uh supersonics left but it was just like a time of just like um, the developing city, you know what I mean? Right. Like as a, you know what I mean? And like, you know, you kind of just used to like seeing like, uh, 
You know, you kind of see your environment, you know what I mean? But then you also kind of see, like, the kind of big stuff that's happening, you know what I mean? There's always somebody with a business. They had, like, Microsoft at the time. So that was, like, really a big thing to have that. Computers, right. it, like, computers and just, like, the development of computers and stuff. Mm. We were trying to learn, like, the programs and all that because, you know, I mean, uh, Bill Gates was from Washington and stuff right. like that. So it was really, like... You're seeing kind of all this kind of new stuff happening. You're right. seeing like the development of like, you know, streetwear stores and like these people coming up like, you know, and it was like it was transitioning 2000s from kind of like the grungy era to like the new tech found. Like, you know, when they said right. Y2K, that thing really hit like it really hit. Yeah, right. It really so hit. you say the grungy, gritty era. Yeah. What, what you mean by that? So how what it was? So during the 90s and stuff like that, we had like uh, a lot of like, we had like, okay, so before Sir Mix a Lot, you know what I mean? We had. I like big butts and I can't not lie. Yes, yeah. Sir. Yeah, yeah. So before we had Sir Mix a Lot, we uh -huh. had these grunge bands. We had Nirvana, we had, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then Nirvana we also was had big. Like, yeah, yeah, Alice in Chains. And then, and then even before that, we had like Pearl Jam and like people yeah. like that. So. But like when Nirvana and Alice in Chains and Soundgarden, like mm -hmm. all those type of people came, that those bands came through, it was like literally like a whole wave hit of this culture of like almost like kids just trying to rebel. Like, you know what I mean? Like where uh, what Kurt, Kurt Cobain was saying, mm -hmm. he's from uh, like this small little city out in Aberdeen by the water and there's pretty much nothing out there. And that's, so, oh, and that's in Seattle? Uh, this is actually. I mean, Washington. Um, it's in, yeah, yeah, it's right. in Washington, and it's about like probably two hours down south from right. uh, Washington and all that. That's crazy. And so it was just like you know when he's talking about like, and it's kind of crazy that like you know be like you know like you know somebody that's just like you know white or whatever else, but like when he was talking about like rebelling and all that, right. like cats were feeling that all around, like you know right. what I mean, especially around in the city. So there's always. Like you hear about these people walking around the city and playing at these shows and just on the come up, and then when you really see them, you're like, oh, they're right. still the same. Like right. they, they, their demeanor literally has not changed from like then till now. Like they still don't care. They still don't give a fuck. Like mm -hmm. all that type of stuff. They don't, yeah. you know. So and y'all union too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. big on the union and all that stuff out there too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, definitely a development for the people, you know. And it's like. And shout out to all my people in Seattle. Yeah, you know yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. Shout out to the people in Seattle. Mm -hmm. And appreciate everybody tapping in too. Like I lived every I pretty much lived everywhere on the western Washington front. So I lived in Olympia for a minute. I lived Damn. in Tacoma. I lived in Seattle. I lived in Everett. I was born in Everett. You know what I mean? And then I lived there and I pretty much moved everywhere along the western Washington front. Vancouver, so all these things. What did you like, always want to be growing up? Like Man, it was kind of crazy to describe. I think I, I I wanted to be like a firefighter or something like that. I wanted to be like, you know, somebody that can create like, you know, like can help people. And so what was crazy with music is, is that I remember I was like sitting in the car and like my pops, like we're over here, like on the base or whatever else. And, you know, we're with like my uncle's family and blah, blah, blah. And we're just at the store and like all the adults go up in the store and it's just me and my pops and my wow. brother. All of a sudden, there's a beat playing. It was like 50 Cent or something like that. He just starts freestyling. He just starts off the rip. And I was like, whoa. I was like, yeah. I don't know if he was like, you know what I mean, drinking or what. Like he probably was, but he just started freestyling. Yeah. We're like, whoa, what? You know what I mean? And yeah. he's like, yo, we used to do this back up in the days. He's from Portland, Washington. So he's been around the times of like the 80s and like, you know what I mean? The 70s and the 80s and all that. Right. So he's been around when all the 80s rappers, instead of like, you know, having these big venues like they do nowadays, mm -hmm. they used to be pulling up at like, a, like you know, like at the park. And like, skating like, rings yeah, and stuff like, like that. Yeah, like skating rings and at the park and right. all that type of stuff. And he's like, man, we used to be freestyling all the time. And so I heard him freestyle and I kind of was just like, that music kind of intrigued me, you right. know? but I still kind of didn't know what I was. This was like when I was like nine, ten, or something like that. I still didn't know what I was, and I, and I just like was just kind of going through and seeing life, seeing people, you know. Let me light this right. Yo, you got to smoke on the podcast when we here. We smoke, you know. You got to see when I say I, I smoke and talk through my nose. She about to like, bro. Mm, mm, mm. Let me show. You, let me show. You, let me show. You. Like, now nah, you bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact. 
Get out of here, Dewey. What are y'all doing in here? We're smoking reefer. And you don't want no part of this shit. You're smoking reefers? Yeah, of course we are. Can't you smell it? Uh, can you don't smell it? it? I can't. Come on, Dewey. Come on, Dewey. Dewey. No, Dewey. You don't want this. <laughs> no, Get Dewey, you don't want this. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> well, that movie was fun in the bitch. You you know that movie. <laughs> I don't know, but I know that name. I know Dewey right there. That oh, okay, yeah, Dewey walks what's, in the room. What's that movie called? I ain't gonna tell you. Damn, come play. <laughs> hey, YouTube ain't copyright striking me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, true, true. Hey, respect on that. Respect on that. Send me the link. <laughs> I sure the link. Send the link. Send the link. I, I and I ain't gonna send the link like that dude sent that fruity loop link. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they took I heard this whole page disappeared. Yeah, the dude shared the new Fruit Loops update. The, it's what is the 2025 or somewhat edition, whatever. One of them. It's one of the 20s. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And one of the dudes on Twitter shared the link, the download link. Dang. And boy, just they they shut his whole everything that down. That quick? Just YouTube, everything. <laughs> That's supposed to be up in the background. That ain't like give that thing like thirty. Man, yeah, man, maybe man. if it hit like twenty million, then yeah. But like, if it's just like thirty, ten thousand, just man. let it be. But let it be. You know what I'm saying? Let it ride. Only the ones that really know. If you want to do uh, an update, you know, check I mean, it out. I feel like all companies really on the cool should give you a free version. You know what I'm saying? And let you have everything in it, but certain stuff, you know what I'm saying, should be limited. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do this, but you should be able to get in there, make a song, do what you need to do, make a beat, you know what I'm saying, save it, export it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I, but you I ain't totally got to give me all the bells and whistles. I totally believe that. I literally got a homie right now, like... Uh, my homie YK, shout out to you. He mm -hmm. literally just makes all his beats off of like Ableton Live free. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it's bringing him so far, but he can only get like nine or ten tracks at the mm -hmm. most, you know? That's why the old school producers be laughing at people. They be like, man, sure, I don't need no doll. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need none of that. I can, I can take this recorder, hook it up with this, put it, the NPC over here, or That's put it, or what, what you call it, the boss, put it yeah, up in yeah. there. Boom, 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 boom. There true. you go. That's true. And then I can take an old record. Yeah. <laughs> Slapping up in there, boom! I got me a whole song. Hey, I got some like I got some pieces, like some old school pieces, probably from mm -hmm. like the seventies or mm -hmm. whatever. Back when they were doing, um, I got it from like an estate sale. Right, and literally the guy was like doing stuff for, like <coughs> Ozzy Osbourne, whatever else, like you know, kind of like that all that little extra stuff. But like when I heard his song. Uh -huh. uh, I think it's called Great White or whatever. But right. when I heard that song, the drums was knocking. Yeah. And so I like I had to pick up on the pieces. So I got like it was like both of I got both like two pieces. It was like two EQs. Right. You know what I mean? One that was like a stereo EQ and then one that was like a, a like a universal audio, but this was called a URE. Okay. Uh, U R E I or URI or whatever it's right. called. But I got I picked up on that piece right there. And so the guy gave me this list and it was like literally Yo, shout out to anybody back up in the days that was making music. Because this is crazy. Like, this dude literally had broke it down where it was like preamp. It was like, you know, I don't mean to get an audio engineer nerd stuff. But, right. like, it was just like, he it was plugging through to this thing. Plug it through the speakers. Then plug it out the speakers into a cassette. Then plug it out into to a cassette into something else. Yeah. And I was like, and then I was listening to the old dude's song. I'm like, this is how you get it knocking like this? Like, you put it through a cassette and had it rocking like that? Yeah. I was just, like, blown. Like, But it's the same thing when you take your plugins and they give you these cassette plugins and all that. Mm -hmm. It's all about how you know what to do with exactly. it. Exactly. That's why when people like that have been through it and they get it, it's easy for them to use it. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Do you wonder, like, well, I went to school and that's not the way to use it. You can't tell nobody the way to use it when they done, they were from the beginning yeah. of it. And they knew how they put it together yeah. to make they sound. Hey, you know that's what I'm why I'm so thankful right. now that we got all this stuff here. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I like, you know, I work with somebody that makes like these cases for like these bands. And, right. Like, you know, he can make it for like your, you know, your NPC and all right. that type of stuff. And Larry, he was telling me back up in the days, he used to own a shop and he used to have people come through and he had to like do the wiring for a mixer and mm -hmm. all that. I'm like, dang, we yeah. over here just like, yeah, yeah, plug and play. Like, yeah, you know, they used to take the snakes in the back of a mixer and solder them into the yeah. back. You know what I'm saying? To get that direct sound. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, yeah. you know, but that's another story. So, yeah. like, how did you come across music then? What influenced you? What, what was the influence? My influence was really just riding around in the car because, okay, so pretty much I lived over in Vancouver. It's about, like, 
let's say like 20 minutes away from Portland, Oregon. Right. You know. And I have family up in um, Seattle. You know, that that's about like an hour, an hour and a half away. Right. And so pretty much we would just ride up in the car. My pops, he loved like old school R and B group. Mm-hmm. Drew Hill, Jodice, like Boys to Man, like right. all those kind of people and all that. That's what he like. So I, I just kind of was just listening to tracks. And then all of a sudden, you know, he kind of started opening up because I would just be like, all right, play those. He would blast them, like, right. very, like, type of stuff where it's, like, full blast. Right. Like, you know, and he was for real serious about his music, too. Like, hey, no, don't even try to tell me to turn it off because right. I'm going to get on your head type right. stuff. So, Larry, we just ride through and just blast music. And so we would just drive all the way up there because we had, like, family outings or, you know what I mean? We might go up there for Christmas or, like, stuff like that. Right. And so I kind of just got more into music, but really what got me into it is that he was playing more of the radio. And then that's when it was like, mm. all of a sudden I was hearing 50 Cent play on. Right. And like really what got me into it was just like hearing like in the club. And I was just oh, like, okay. you know all what right. I mean? That like, was your era. Okay. Yeah, all right. yeah. And so it was just like, I was just like, oh, whoa, hold up. So what you do, you started writing, what you were started trying to figure out how to produce, like what it started leading you to. So what really happened was, is that, you know, this is all happening as a young kid. And so... Like, what I was like 14, I just got into like just listening to a whole bunch of music. I'm talking old school, new school. I was influenced by the South, like, you know what I mean? Listen to Gucci Mane's old tapes, you know right. what I mean? Like, right. just like listen to all these kind of guys, you know what I mean? And, like, my parents, they loved MGK, uh, uh, uh not MGK, my bad, Eight Ball, <laughs> Eight Ball of MJG. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, what get mean? it right, yeah, yeah, get it right. My yeah, bad, my yeah, bad, my yeah. bad. <laughs> But they loved A Ball and MJG. My boy got me lit right here. But they love A Ball and MJG, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh-huh. And so, you know, it was just like that kind of South influence. Bum B, like, it was just like, whoa, hold up. You know, yeah. and I'm here in the West Coast. And so I'm 14, listening to all these artists. I'm listening to 90s. I'm listening to 80s. Right. You know? I'm just like, I got all these thoughts up in my head. I'm over here. Because at first, before I even became a producer, audio engineer, uh-huh. I was just freestyling. I was just freestyling up in my head. I was just over here just going. Okay. I, you know, I was just like, you know, saying all these things in my head, you know what I mean? But I wasn't saying them in person. You right. You know what I mean? I wasn't, I wasn't like, yo, da 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 right. this and this and that, you know? So, you know, I was just kind of playing it cool until right. one day I met this artist named Seth Bash, which I'm oh. still cool to this day. He's like my best friend, you know, and, that, and I'll tell you with a whole... Shout out, Sid. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. is a whole foreshadowing right here. So pretty much I linked up with Sed, and it was just like, literally like magic. It was just like, he invited me over to the crib. And at the time, uh, we didn't have like, you know, Yamaha speakers. Right. This is the time, like, this is like 2015, no, not 2015, 2011, 2012. So we had like the computer and we were using the computer speakers, you know what I mean? The monitors, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. And we unplugged. I didn't even know at this time, literally, I had computer speakers. I didn't know that you can just unplug the back and then plug it into your phone. I didn't even know yeah. that. I was like, whoa, hold up. This is an ox. So yeah. he did that. He started playing these beats and then literally, I just, whatever, just, I thought in my head, he's yeah. like freestyle. I was like, yeah. Oh. I was just da 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 da. Yeah, it got the headphone jack in the back yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just plug that bit right on in. Shit. This is how clueless. Yeah. This is how clueless I was. Right, before. you fresh. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm yeah, just fresh. Yeah. Just like whoa, hold up, yeah. like oh, You're like dude, a brand dude. new baby, fresh pack with baby oil. Hey, yeah, it's like, <laughs> literally, I was just like, my mind was blown. Like I'm hearing, he just threw on a beat, and it's like, you know, this is the time where, like, you know, like. It was like Tyler the Creator, like you know what I mean. But it was like Waka Flocka. I was listening to a whole bunch oh, of Waka Flocka. No like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Waka Flocka, yeah, you are. Yeah, Flocka. yeah, yeah. And I was listening to a whole bunch of like just like all these artists, Kendrick, all these like West Coast, whatever else. Uh-huh. And so he's just freestyling, and then okay. so I'm over here like, whoa. I'm just like, okay. And then he's just like, he stops and he's like, you go. And I'm like, uh, uh, and I just whatever I had in my head, I just went off. He's like. Okay, you flowing right now. You flowing. And I was like, "What's up?" And he's like, "Nah, nah, nah. We gotta run it back." And so uh, he just kept on playing beats. Right. That was my musical influence. So what okay. happened was is that I just kept on coming back to his house, freestyling. We right. did the same thing. Pull like, it up. You know, yeah. his parents were over there working. You know, what I mean, mom over here working like two jobs. Dad over here doing his thing. You know, mm-hmm. so we just watching like him and his little brothers. Yeah. Yeah, we just watching him and his little brothers and all that. And we just watching them just like play, 
Like, you know what I mean? We're like, all right, just go play up in the back room. And then right. we literally over here up in the front, just like, boom, play yeah. the phone up and freestyling. And so I just kept on freestyling, kept on freestyling, you know what I mean? So, so did you take the rap serious? Not at that time. Not at that time. So, but, yeah. Well, okay. My bad, my bad. Go no, you good, you good. So, so so when did you start taking the rap serious? And then what, what influenced you to even start making beats? Yeah, so what happened was... <laughs> So I, yeah, yeah, so after I was freestyling for a minute, this is what's crazy, is after I was freestyling for a minute, I'm 15, you know, he brings his producer over, mm. you know what I mean? Now, this guy was not good at all, and so I've just been looking at beats, I've been looking at the produ I've been looking at the laptops and all that, I've just been examining it, but I've just been freestyling. Right. He was playing, and he's like, uh, uh, do this, uh, uh, whatever. I'm like over here in the back, like, come on, bro, we gotta be quick with this, like, get him up in the booth, let's yeah. go, you know? So he stopped and freaking, after he left, I talked to said, I said, yo, okay, so they can't be two rappers up in here. So I'm producing, you rapping, I'm going to figure this out. Right. That's when I literally like got in, I was like serious, but I was like, boom, I got the laptop and I was just over here hearing double XL freestyles and I was just over here just, uh, I was actually, what was crazy is, is I was wait for the double XL freestyle, whichever one that came out 2015 mm -hmm. or like the 2013, 2014. And mm -hmm. I would literally, as soon as it dropped, I would take the beginning of it and just make it into a beat. I wouldn't drop it or anything. I would just literally just like cut it, you know, sample. It. I was like, oh, hold up. Like, yo, this is going crazy. You know, right. I showed it to the friends. like, yo, this is dope. Then do whatever, you know, fast forward. I was just, what happened was that I played out the producing stuff. And then literally I started going to these parties. And at the time was, is that it was like these big, like at the time Project X, the movie came out. So everybody back up in Washington was trying to do Project X parties. I'm talking about people trying to show up like 300, 400, 500 type mm -hmm. people. You know what I mean? It would always get busted, but it was always kind of those fun things. I would show up to these parties and I would just be freestyling. I'd be like a hundred people and I'd just be freestyling. Then I'd be like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, and I yeah. just kept on going, kept on going, you know what I mean? And so that's when I was just like, all right, I'm doing the freestyle and producing whatever, you know what I mean? I got the homie set over here, like getting his raps in. I'm like, we're going to build this foundation. Right. So, and you was in Seattle at this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in yeah. at these parties. It was all around right. Washington. It was like so all on the west who, of France. Like, like, I know your, your friend yeah. inspired you, right? So like, who was around? Who was the hottest artist at that time? in Seattle that was influenced you as well? Like, who was y'all listening to, like, from the city that was also giving y'all the juice? Man, it's kind of hard to say because there, at the time, there was some... Okay, so there was some people, like, you know what I mean? But this is, like, kind of late, later on in the era, but it was just, like, at the time for me, where I was listening to, like, I was over here trying to find, like, there, there wasn't... There was few and far, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? There were some cats from Seattle that we was listening to, but we were, like, really, like, into... Like, for me, myself, I wasn't really, like, into, like, you know? Right. And so it was, like... But nobody really ever made, like, a boom. Like, it was, like, oh, he's going off and doing right. his thing. So when nobody really just famous came up out of the last the Seattle person besides Sir mix -a -Lot? Sir mix -a -Lot was really, like... Okay, so shout out to Jake One. Jake One, Jake was, One, okay. Jake One was like a producer though, but like he worked with like uh, Freeway and like uh, you know Benny Siegel, and that's when he did his thing. So he was kind of like platinum. He was doing his th the thizzle with that, right. you know. So he was kind of leading the way, but like to be saying like a like a song that was ever on a billboard. We haven't had like that like before, you know what I mean? So what 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 intrigued you to be become a producer then? What intrigued me to become a producer is is that Larry, I was just like, I got tired of Larry, like you know, because me and Seth were just freestyling. I got tired of people just doing the producer whatever, like trying to produce it, but they weren't serious. Right. So I was like, let me get up in depth, and so it took me like I was just playing it off for a minute, and Larry, it took me until. From 15 to 18, I was like, when it when I went to 18, I kind of just had a decision because I was listening to so much music and I was like singing all the lyrics and I was going to these parties, freestyling and kind of making some beats that were kind of okay. And then it just, just kind of took a point where it's just like, yo, I want to do this. Like, this is my, for real my passion. Like, I don't know. It just like, it just sparked. It just sparked for me. I said, this is, this is what I want to do. Okay. Like, you know, okay. and I was just like, I don't care what anybody thinks. I don't care what anybody says. I'm just going to do it, you know? And so... So, through this journey, and did you go to school later on? What school you went to? So, I went to the school. Shout out to Recording Workshop. Uh -huh. I went out to the school out in the middle of, like, 
It was like nowhere. Like uh-huh. I don't tell Lakati, Ohio. I'm talking like Larry. Like you are gonna see some stuff if you the only brother. You gonna be the only brother walking up in that dang Walmart and everybody wearing camo and they definitely gonna be looking at you type oh, ish. Shit. You know what oh, I mean? Okay. All right. So and we like, and I definitely like, got up in some type stuff like, like that. Look at him, Bubba. Man, hey, hey, Bubba. man, hey. I'll tell you what, man. Bubba Wise pants ain't go below his ass. Man, I think I ought to treat him a lesson. Man, <laughs> they don't play. They're far- the farmer cast, man, or like you know what I mean. Like man, there is Bubba's out well, there. Like Bubba, he don't know he man, ain't. We try to he ain't blown fuck nowhere. Yeah, we try I'm to from be- fuck him all up with this baby oil. <laughs> no diddy. <Yeah. laughs> So we yeah, it was crazy. We was ra- down the street just trying to do our thing, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. You know, we over here, we you know, so we over here trying to find a little smoking spot. We don't look down and we see like a freaking, you know what I mean, some little da 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 like, you know, what I mean? we seen some like little Hitler sign up on oh. there. Yeah. And oh. we looked down, we said, "Oh." And then we looked up and then it was kind of just a row of that and we're like, "Oh, we in the wrong spot." So as we get up to leave, there's literally like I'm talking about like like seven cars right here. Like Ooh. it's a gang of people, you know what I mean? And literally it's like we over here like, oh, oh kick his ass, yeah. he bass. So it's like <laughs> and it's like it's like them big bubba boy. I, I, yeah. I yeah, man, yeah. man kick his eat ass. cornbread all day. Yeah. You got the neighbors all out talking with each other. Like it's- so this guy comes up and he's just mad angry, just up in our face, like, da da, you ain't even supposed to be here. What you doing? What you do? we're like, yo, we just over here just trying to like just do our thing and just go back and like you need to get out of here and whatever. What's your name, boy? Yeah, exactly. Oh, you oh Tay Crucial. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, about yeah, to get yeah. crucial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah damn right, it's about to get crucial. Yeah. Hey, kick his ass, C Bass. Yeah. <laughs> See bass, kick his ass. Man, <laughs> it was crazy. It was like, and it was like, okay, so like, cause at first we seen like, it was just five of them, right? You know what I mean? The guy came up, we over here just like resizing each other up type yeah. stuff. And then all of a sudden he gets done yelling and we over here just like, all right, whatever. We walk back and we see like 10 of them. We're like, whoa, hold up. We're like, yo, they're over oh. here like, all cornbread fed like. Dude, oh. like, like Larry, like, oh. try, like for real, like Larry, probably bumping heads with Ooh. each other type stuff. Like we Man, ready to damn. get fucked. All wearing the same type clothes, like oh, it was, so it was little Bubba Bubba Junior 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 Bubba 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 Bubba, Bubba Junior Junior. <laughs> Talking with the neighbors, like the neighbors done came out. They over here, like just like yo, like we're like whoa, and so like you know, it's Ooh. like I'm the only brother, like you know, because I'm over here, like you know, being at the school, or whatever. I'm just over here. We're doing like extensive work. We ain't let me guess though, say, yeah, a woman saved y'all. No, 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 oh, no. Oh, okay. We didn't even get set. We what? didn't even get it, it was nah, no, no, no. What? The the women were with the guys. They were over oh, there. Like, so they, they was over there spitting in cans like they had kill them. They had everybody <laughs> there. That was it was just ten of those bubble gumps, bro. It was it was like, bro, for real. It was like serious. Like this guy was over here like mad heated. He didn't want us there. And we were like, yo, we weren't even there for like five minutes. It was bad. It was like we weren't even. Damn, so they would just be telling the women, "Hey, Brula, go get Paul." Man, the, and it was crazy because the guys like our neighbor told us that you was. Because what happened was is that. So, long story short, is this road is back. Yeah, yeah. This, I I just smell a nigger on him. Mm-hmm. I sure do smell a nigger. And so this who it, let that nigger through this front door? So how you getting bum flop? It was a thing. It was like all right. There's, here's the campus on the end right yeah. here, but don't go down that street. Yeah. We, it was just like a thing. You can go out. There's a little. We're right by the freeway. All you got to do is just go right. But we weren't. We were like, all right, we just gonna walk down here. We just gonna, you know, spark, or not even walk down. We drove down there. We're just gonna little spark up, whatever, out, da, da, you know. And so, nah, it was not the case, mm. bro. So we over here get to the car. As we get to the car, you know, man, I'm with some white boys. I just want to turn it up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, no, 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 no. We just trying to drive off, bro. Yeah, like, man, they, so you with some white boys. Bro, yes. And so they, so the guy, so, so they say something to old dude. Old dude over here, I'm trying to close the door. Old dude puts his hand out, starts yelling. I close the door on old dude. 
I close the door on old dude. We don't start driving off. Now it's like three, four trucks on us. We over here <laughs> don't know where we at. We in the middle of nowhere in Ohio. Like we just going. But and so they on us for like 20, 30 minutes. I know, you, minutes, I know you're not from the south, but that sounds like some Jasper, Texas shit right there. You know that? So, yeah, that, boy, they were gonna, boy, they were gonna, they were gonna cut you and make skin out of you. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, they're gonna make pork rinds and everything out of you. You should have seen his they, face. Your bro. face would have been they mask. You you gotta you gotta be careful with bubble in them. I'm telling you. But so how okay, so now you making beats, you don't went to school for making mm -hmm. beats. All right, so like how did you get to the south and hook up with T Squeeze? So shout out to recording workshop. So what happened? Recording was, workshop. Yeah, okay. so what happened was is that I went over to that school and then on some real-ish, like, okay, so how I even got told that is, is that I'm just making beats. I'm just over here. We do a couple of shows, you know what I mean? They're doing their thing, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. We're over here just over around in all different cities trying to get some shows, right? Mm -hmm. What happened was is that, you know, my uncle, like, he, he does, like, Christian music, like, straight up, like, you know what I mean? Not rap, like, straight up, like, you know what I mean? Like, don't come up in here saying nothing, cursing, none of that type right. of stuff, you know what I mean? He, but he made it off of Christian music. He got a big old studio, all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean, at the time. And at, um, before anything, he went to the school, and he's like, yo, go to the school. Check it out. Like, it changed my life. Right. I went to that school. I was doing extensive work. I, w I didn't even write an essay. It was like literally, I was up in the studio like 12 hours a day. And at the time was, I was making beats and I just got confident. And I was over here working with um, venues. I was working with people. We were doing contracts. We were helping with an, uh, another promoter right. help uh, get our name out. So I was kind of street smart with the music. When I went over there, people were book smart. They knew all the microphones. They knew all this. They knew the setup. They knew everything. I kind of just barely just knew what was up. I just knew some good speakers right. of what the beats hit, and I know what the people like. Right. So at the time, I was over here working up in the studio. Then we would go to school for like eight hours. They would just teach us a whole bunch of music stuff, mixing boards, whatever else. And then after that, I'll be over here four hours straight, right. 20, 30 people up in the room. All right, you play a beat. All right, you play. I get them all rowdy. Right. You know what I mean? So it kind of brought my confidence up. I just kept on doing that. I went back to Washington. Changed my whole life. I was over here like, let's get it. So literally, I just kept on working. And literally, we just kept on doing shows. I had set as an artist, and then I was just a producer. I'm like, you going to rap your ass? Like, rap? You just every day, you going to rap. And then I'm going to make beats. So literally, I just committed to that. So I went over. So I was actually staying over at Lacey at the time. Mm. And this is like an hour away from down, down south from Seattle. And so I had a studio over there. I said, all right, we're going to work. We're going to work. We're going to work. And so pretty much I had him up in there just like, you know, rapping and all that. I had the whole, like, you know what I mean? Just like the whole apartment complex, the whole little city around there just coming through to the studio. I'm like, we going to do this. Just kept on doing that. You know what I mean? I linked up with some artists that were um, over here that were uh, from uh, Seattle area and all that. And they were over here. I got the opportunity to like, you know, link up with like some like connects out there and stuff like that. And just, I just kept on doing it. And so I kept on making beats. We kept on doing shows, you know what I mean? Um, and so pretty much said Bash was working over at a dispensary. Mm -hmm. And then this is where we can get up in, like, how I even met the guys. Everybody else is that, you know, this is years down the line. We're doing all these shows, you know what <laughs> I mean? We're doing tours, whatever else. And at the time, you know, I had my own studio over in uh, Tacoma. Okay. And so I was just making beats, you know what I mean? I was doing my thing. I was mixing, you know? Um, I was mixing, I was just trying to get things right, and so, you know, I had my little setup, you know what I mean, had the variety, right. you know what I mean, right. it wasn't right. like this, you know what I mean, right. this thing nice over here, my right. stuff was like, literally like, you pull up to the studio, it was like, literally, you had enough for a sofa, yeah. you had enough for a sofa, I had my uh, computer up in the corner type right. ish, you know what I mean, like, it was like, literally, you can have like two seats, like, mm. on the end of the sofa, like, right, one right, right here on the other yeah. end, that's like, probably like, you no, know. Man, don't, don't worry about it, man, I done came for all I had with just a gateway yeah. and the little gateway microphone, I yeah. used to record right in there. Yeah. It's, and uh, use the monitor, so, you know, yeah, you know, I right, been through right, the storm. Right. <laughs> and so, so I just had that going yeah. in for myself and so said bash was working over at the studio uh -huh. pretty much how everything transpired the way oh, okay. you know i mean the story is and foreshadowing is that mr t squeeze right he pulled up and uh you know what i mean he's from dallas texas and right. you know what i mean 
And so my homie over here, he's like, yo, what's up with the studio? Da, 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 da. Right. So my homie said was running over here. He was also the manager over at this like uh, dispensary, you know right. what I mean? And like, you know, making all these connects. And he said, yo, hit up Tay. Hit up Tay Crucial. And he, so Squeeze calls me up, you know what I mean? It's about like 3, 4 p.m. I'm over here like, what's up? And yo, he hit me with this slang that I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm yeah. like, hold up, hold up. Yeah, he hit the Betty Jean and everything. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Betty Jean. Yeah, Sucker You That. You yeah, know Sucker You yeah, That. Yeah, like, you know every, like, he was yeah. like, just all types yeah. of slang. Yeah, he said, hit the ballyhoo on your ass. Hit the ballyhoo, <laughs> bro. Like, for real. Like, it's for real language. But it's, yeah, it's real whole, language. Yeah. So, like, you know, it's a Shakespeare. There's a Shakespeare scale. I don't right. know if you ever seen that where it's like all these artists. They got mm -hmm. Wayne. He mm -hmm. Squeeze right up there. He got mm -hmm. a whole kind of... He got his own, he, yeah, but that's a whole nother story. Right. But anyway, so he over here, well, I'm on the line, I'm like, yo, yo. And so he's like, you got the yo, you got the yo. I'm like, studio? He's like, yeah, 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 the, 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 the yo, the yo, the gap. And it was, what's up, what's up, what's up with that? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was like, yeah, I got it. Like, all right, we'll set something up, come through. And he's like, he's like, all right, I got you. So, <laughs> my bad, I'm over here. <laughs> nah, you good. So, all right, so now you, you, he comes to the studio, he records, yeah, you yeah. get to know him. And y'all build a relationship. So but how did the relationship go further? You know what I'm saying? Man. Just that recording session. So what was crazy is, is that I was just uh, uh. so telling you earlier before with the freestyling. I just always enjoyed the freestyling. Man, right. he was saying no pen, no pad, no pen, no pad. I'm thinking he over here going to write something. Please come over here and start ripping beat after beat after beat after beat. No pen, no pad. We going no from pad. 9 a.m. to... Not 9 a.m. We going from 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. <laughs> like, Ooh. just rip it. Like, literally, I'm over here just like, all right, cool. You know what I mean? I had to just tell him, like, yo, hold up. Like, you got to give me some time so I can actually mix these songs through. Right, like, right. you know what I mean? And so I was also... It was kind of crazy, too, because he was taking, like, you know what I mean? I didn't know him at the, So when you... When you don't know somebody at the time and they're doing a session, you know what I mean? You can almost give, like, they if somebody wants an opinion from you, you can actually give them a critique and they might take it in. Some. Yeah, some. Some, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, you know what I mean? But when he came in, he was like, what you think? I was like, man, try it. You know what I mean? Like, it was like, I was like, yo, you know what I mean? What you want? A, B, you know what I mean? And it right. was just like, you know, he had the, it was like a connection because he, it was like, you know, when you're in the, like, audio engineering, you know what I mean? You're like, does it sound good? I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean? He's like, what should I do? You yeah, know when you mean? teach a person something, and instead of you just sitting there clicking the button, you like, hey, now try this. Or do your word like this. Are you messed up yeah, here? Yeah, well, yeah. when you start giving them pointers, yeah. start, then they start yeah. coming more home yeah. on to you. So I, it, I know exactly what yeah, you're saying. And yeah. it's not like he was even like even writing with a pen or nothing right. like that. He was just freestyling. He freestyling, was just, he was right. Just like, boom, cut, all right, boom, cut, all right, boom, cut. You right. know what I mean? So it was just like... You know what I mean? He's bringing in Valentine, uh, okay. the cruises base up in here. So yeah. I'll be over here using whatever. But he'd be using, like, it was kind of crazy. It was just like, you know, so I was like, all right, cool. And then he literally hit me up again, uh -huh. like, next day, like, yo, we going to get it? I'm like, yeah, sure. And then after that. Oh, your ass was tired. Yeah. Yeah. Because, <laughs> <laughs> again, he was trying to do it. Look, but I respected that. Because right, you respected it, right. I respected that because, literally, I needed that work. I needed that, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, Sometimes, that practice, yeah. that training, the end more. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, yeah, I know It's that. like in the gym, you know what I mean? Hell, You're trying yeah. to hit your shot. Like, every, yeah, like right. okay, hold up. Hell, Somebody yeah. over here, like, you can do better. Hell, like, yeah. Oh. Hell, yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and then I get to practice whatever I want on you and shit. You don't even know, but I know. <laughs> you You're know like, yeah, play one of your beats. Hey, I'm yeah, like, oh, and then literally what got me was is that I was so inspired. He done played like over here a freaking beat. And it was like like a Dave East type beat. Yeah. And then I got up into it and I freestyled on that. And then he brought that back to Dallas. And he's like telling me, he's like, yo, man, like these people are feeling the tracks. I'm over here like, you know, because like I'm like, okay, okay, okay. You know what I mean? And he keeps on telling me like, yo, man, they keep on feeling the tracks. I'm like, okay. And then literally he's having his people hit me up. Like everybody, like, I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm talking with Cruz. I'm talking with Squeeze. I'm talking with like his old connects. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Double M Slim. Like, you know what I mean? Azariah Slim. And like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just talking with all these people and I'm just like, yo. Like, Shout out Azariah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm just Shout like. Shout out Cruz too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Like seven. I mean, I mean, seven. I mean, cruise. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Got to be silent. You know what I'm saying. Like I, I'll be forgetting to be silent. You know what I'm saying. It's that. I'm telling you, man. It's that CBD, man. <laughs>
<laughs> so what happened was I tell you my little story with like mm. all of Dallas and all that. So, so you in Dallas now? Mm-hmm. You mean now you you hear everybody here and they know who you is. So now you stand, you circle you now, right? So I literally what happened was that Squeeze was like, "Yo, you gotta come to Dallas. You gotta come." Did to Dallas. you get jumped in? It was pretty much like Larry, like <laughs> it was tired. It was like not tired, but it was like we gonna work. I'm like, all right, play beat after beat after beat after beat. Like you so, know, so you so up. so. T Squeeze hit you first in, in, in initiation. Who hit you second? <laughs> it was like Larry. It was like all right. It was like all right. Slim was like all right. What's it was like anybody up in okay. there. Oh, so you got here with a pop like you don't know what it is. It's the whole yeah, circle. Yeah, okay. Yeah, All right. Yeah. Shout out to the circle yeah, you, man. Yeah, yeah. But so, it, it was more like it was more like, you know, him throwing on the beat. Right, so like, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like, know, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, hit it. Man, hit it, nah, yeah. for real. Nah, that's what's up though, man. It's like that's how I mean, that's how iron shop and iron in the in the music industry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how that's how producers get better, engineers get better, rappers get better and everything like that. So now let's let's fast forward a little bit. Let's go to like what dog? What was you producing in, and what was your feeling like coming to Texas? Man, it was like I had like because I was already kind of working with like I was working with like you know man some little South artists, but like this was different. It was right. like as soon as I because as soon as I landed, like I just got a one way ticket. Right. I said I don't know how I'm gonna be. Yo, squeeze. He was just like the whole Southern hospitality. So for right. real, like. It was kind of crazy and inspirational how people be, you know what I mean? And so he really welcomed me in, showed me with his people, and he's like, yo, I got you. You know, we going to ride around. And so, you know, we just linked up at all these different spots, you know, like, you know, had me do, like, music videos, had me, you know, link up with crews, do the music, you know, like, and then that's when it kind of just started curating of just, like, you know, then I started meeting all those people. Then I started seeing it was for real. I was like, oh, well, hold up, Dallas. I was like... Yeah, yeah Dallas, yeah. Yeah, and yeah so, that's what's up. And I had these feelings, because, like, you know what I mean? This is why I shot it. This is why I always had these good feelings, is that, like, you know, ever since I met Squeeze, and, like, he told me about the culture. He told me about everything. Right there. That's that's my next question. Yeah. My culture. Our culture. Yeah. Dallas culture. When you speak Dallas, you better know Dallas. You know what I'm saying? D, right there, right on time. You see that? That that, that was destined for this question right here. So you being amongst T-Squeeze, and he's teaching you about this culture of Dallas, did he also school you on our legends of Dallas? Who you know from Dallas as our great rappers or our great R&B singers? Do you know anybody from Dallas? Uh, I know Erica Badu. That's the easy one. Okay, that's the easiest one. Yeah. Tuck. Okay, they're okay. All right, you said Tuck. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go dig, dig deep, but let's see what I, you got. I like Froze only. I ain't gonna Froze lie. only. <laughs> okay, you damn right. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, sure, man. Uh, some of the legends popping out, man. Uh, man, put me on the spot. Yeah, I right put now. you on the spot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause this is what this podcast is about. You mm-hmm. know, give flowers to our legend. I give flowers to the up and coming too. But we also teach people our history, and we also teach people in music business. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You never know what you might get on my podcast. Yes, sir. But we got, you know, Bobo Lucianos. We got the Cottonmouth Jesses. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We Low got fly. The, yeah, Bo Low. Fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Well. You got your Boonkies. You know what I'm saying? You got your Oak Cliff Assassins, your damn D's, your Pookies, your Luchis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got your Red Rums. You know what I'm saying? Your Money Waters. You know, your Picassos and yeah. shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Gilo, I mean, Jalo. You know what I'm yeah, saying? You got, slim, yeah, man, you got, we got your Nemesis. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nemesis. You know what I'm saying? Run C. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's and it's more, plenty more. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I keep going, but learn our history, our culture, man. It's thick. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got your Mo threes, your Yellow Bees. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. forget them. C shrugs. Yeah. C motherfucking shrugs. Big Al. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn me. Oh, you gonna give me the start dancing up in this bitch? You know what I'm saying? But. It's good to come from a culture like that, you know, especially a hip hop culture. Dallas is very, very, very dominant in hip hop, mm-hmm. and and it really, we're more than hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Cause we 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 do we do our own thing. You know what I'm saying? We we whatever comes comes. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people may say, oh oh, we follow the trends, woo woo, but we set trends. And then the trends come get it from us, and then you know, then they and they blow up off of it. And, you know. But uh, I mean, I appreciate you really 
coming down here and learning that culture mm -hmm. and hooking up with T Squeeze like that, man. So like, what's next for you in the future? Like, what what are your what are your main goals right now? Well, my main goals right now is really just trying to set up a studio foundation and just make mm -hmm. a connection between, uh, you know what I mean? See what we can do with like, you know what I mean? I love. I, I mess with Texas. See we, uh -huh. what we can do with it. Make a Texas and the West Coast connect. I mean, Texas stuff. West Coast, but you know Texas and West Coast always been connected. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's always been a test coast. You know what I'm saying? What now? Uh, once they got the West Coast, uh, West Coast down South bad, bad yeah Southwest bad boys all this shit whatever the fuck. Oh matter of fact, E40 did one the Southwest something. You know what I'm saying? So it's always been that connection. P was doing it back in the day. It's always been that. You know what I'm saying? We just got to keep it live. Like, so what's, what's more of your style? Like, Larry June, what, what, what's your what's your style? Like, what? Sure, man. Because I know in the West Coast up there, y'all like that ride. I mean, y'all like that, especially them synth bass. You know what I'm saying? Man, we love that synth bass. We love, like, something that you can, like, dance to, too. Mm. That's one thing is, is that if, like, one thing that I, that I mess with is, like, like, something that you can dance with, too. Like, you know, uh -huh. something that you can, like, you know. Right. Uh, we got a lot of synth music. We got like you know like a lot of like uh, kind of more funk style. We got funk, you know what I mean for show. Sure. Like just different kind of like you know what I mean singers that are just like you know alternative stuff. You know what I mean we love the painful music too. I know with Washington and oh, all yeah. that is that yeah, it's raining, so you know you gotta like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, one thing with me is, is that I love the painful mood. music. Yeah, like that... anything that just strikes, like you know what I mean. It's just, right. You know, yeah. So. Who your top five producers? Sure, my top five man, Timbo. I gotta say, shoot, uh, Pharrell, man, uh, and I'm digging. Uh, I like I like Tay Beast. Uh, actually, who? I take I, I, I so Timbo Pharrell. I like, you know what I mean, Soundwave. And then other two, <coughs> uh, sheesh. Who else, though, man? I kind of like, uh, I like, I, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of like Manny Fresh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, yeah, that yeah. boy's like, yeah, yeah, Manny Fresh. Yeah, 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 he got kind of like that, too, so. Yeah, Manny Fresh. Right, right. Right. It's just like, and then also, like, Shoot, man, Dre, you know what I mean. You gotta right. love Dre, you right. know what I mean. And shoot, man. look, look, you trying to go past five, yeah, right? Yeah, you yeah, 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 go past. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, West yeah. Coast, I'm yeah. like, ah. Nah, he said, nah, it's a lot of them though. It is. Who your favorite engineer? Give me, give me the top, top three. Man, I like. Uh, I think I'm saying his name right, but like J C on Joshua. Uh -huh. I like. Uh, I kind of like, uh, man, who else? I like kind of like, uh, uh, I think his name's like, uh, I like Young Thugs, like uh, audio engineer. And then I also like, um, I like, uh, um, uh, what is his name, man? I can't even think of it right now. It's uh, uh, Kendrick's, uh, Kendrick's audio engineer, uh, man. man. Who is Kendrick audio engineer? Over there, top dog. Huh? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. I don't know. I need to check in and see who is the engineer. Yeah, is. man, I'm so sorry. Okay, so yeah. that's your main three. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. you should have used your phone and googled it. Yeah, you know what no, I'm saying? No. Look, huh? Nicholas, what? It's uh, hold on. It's uh, let's see that guy. Yeah, it's uh, Ali. Oh yeah. Ali, yeah, Ali, Derek Ali, Ali yes. yeah, Derek Ali. Yeah. Shout out Derek Ali. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And no, I think, but... and it's Banks too. I think it's Blank. Uh, I believe it's Banks also. Oh, uh, Banks for uh, oh, uh, Young Thug. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Banks, you know what I'm saying? Ali, and you said the first one was who? Uh, first one was uh, uh, yeah, the Green Boy. You get the nigga every time. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Yeah, sure. yeah. If um, it was a snake, it would have bit you. Shit, <laughs> 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 yeah. but it's cool. Yeah. We got it on tape, yeah, so we yeah, go yeah. back. So right, yeah. that's your top three, right? Yeah. All right, so 
We're going to do it like this. Let me see. My phone done went dead. That's crazy. I ain't even got my charger. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? Before we get up out of here. Oh, that, that, that move. That, that, there you go. <clears throat> yep. We're going to do this here. Yeah. Nope. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Y'all give me one second, you know what I'm saying? Let podcast, we live with it. You know what I'm saying? Who your top five artists? Sure. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Kendrick. Kendrick? Yeah. Okay. Probably Kendrick, man. I like uh I like Tupac, I ain't gonna lie. I like a lot of West Coast stuff. <laughs> but uh uh but Kendrick, Tupac, man. I like Nas. You like Nas? Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, shoot. So if I tell you to rap a Nas song, could you rap a Nas song? We'll see. Well, what you mean we'll see? Let's okay. do it. Oh, wait a minute. He said let's do it. Oh, you really like Nas like that? Okay. We'll see. All right, rap, rap a Nas song. Uh... Life's a bitch before I die. It's on. Oh, fuck. Damn. Uh-oh, gotcha. Damn. Gotcha. Got him. Got him. Ah, ah, ah. Got him. Nas gonna, Nas gonna love that, though. This, you know you started it off, though. Shout out. Oh, my bad. Shout out to Nas. Ass all in the camera. Shout out to Nas. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make sure this thing work. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Go over here. Go over here. So we can go, bam, bam. Uh oh. Right, I mean, if I hear it on her, I mean, we live. We, we live. We don't see when I hear. Let me see, let me see, you, 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 you know what type of kids you like, man. Mm. What type of, you like chill type stuff? What, what type of stuff you like? Let's see. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Let load that up right there. Let you make a track. Let's see what you can do. You can pull, you can bend that over so you can still talk into it. Yeah, there you go. You know what I'm saying? And that, yeah, so now you can go right here to your main. You can see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we in there. You good. Don't worry about none of that. How we doing live lit podcast before we get up out of here? Yeah, that boy Tay Crucial, you know what I'm saying? Live on this bitch. Yeah, let me see what you got, dude. Hit that mug. Yeah, 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 yeah,
touch whatever you want right here. That's your tempo, and you can change it just like that. You know what I'm saying? If you're ready to record, you just press overdub, and it's going to go. You know what I'm saying? And you stop it right there. You want to just hear playback, just press like that. It's going to play back. If not, you stop. You're ready to record, overdub. That's it. Yeah. That's all it is to it. Tap so, tempo is right so, um, Tap tempo right there. Uh-huh. Yep, uh huh. So it's gonna give you a three, like a four count. So it'll give you a four count, and then four. Yeah, we live with it. That podcast is going down. Shout out to my boy T Squeeze, circle you that shit. My boy Cruz in the motherfucking building, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, tap tap. Yeah. Mm. If I say it, nigga, I mean it. If I say it, nigga, I mean it. <laughs> I like this. I love you. Got yeah, me stabbing. Yeah, 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 like yeah, you, yeah, like you, yeah. You're going to leave that fruit loose alone now, ain't you? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, hey, I need a hey, NPC. <coughs> Kai, I need a sponsorship for this. I'm turning these boys out. I'm, turn, I'm turning them dogs into these uh, NPC dogs. You know what I'm saying? Uh. too much right so you just shift undo and it bring it back oh it's tight and then when you're ready to record your first record it's going down it's going down you know what i'm talking about hey hey squeeze hey yeah shout out to triple d you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. a whole triple d it's nothing less than top notch hoes. Want the most, not the less. I'ma help you. So, let me show you. You know what I'm saying? Just gonna do this like this. We're gonna double stop it with. All right, so that's your, so put your snare in and make you get your guy. Uh, yeah. Three, four, and one. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Nothing. All right, now you, you hear that, and then you put the uh, time on. Let's do that, eh? Hey. Do it. Oh, okay, so you're not in there. So we gonna go ahead and my man. Oh. All right, now put it back in. And then let's take this off. What they say? Is this eight or 16? 16. Okay, that need to be on eight. All right, now you can hit that bitch. And da, da, da. Uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, 
yeah. undo. So, yeah. So hold on, make sure they go back. Let me make sure. Yeah, you don't do that. Don't do that. And then come here. And then just come with me. And do it again. All right. All right. Now you ready for the drum?
get them right. And we, see, we almost out of here tonight, you know what I'm saying? As soon as we get these high hats and everything up out of here, you know what I'm saying? We're going to ask that famous question of the night. just to stop the sample uh, from yeah play it what you ready yeah i'm ready yeah. Shit, man, I've been 
over here just freaking uh, really honestly just making connections. Uh, it's, been, uh, it's been actually kind of uh, wonderful just coming out here and just having all like uh, the love, you know. So pretty much since I landed, when I first landed here the first time, it was like uh, I met up with uh, Cruz. I just had a one-way ticket. I was just over here, didn't know what's up. And later, pretty much, I just went over to like uh, uh, to, uh, to the studio, you know what I mean? And it was just like, oh, hold up. You know what I mean? Let's do it. Let's, let's get it. You know what I mean? Like, what you spots know? you been to? Where they take you to? Uh, what you done saw? What you, what you done learned in Dallas? You know what I'm saying? I, 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 show you, I know you done got cornbread fed out yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's been kind of crazy, too. So, oh, man, sorry. I've kind of just put, like, I ain't even gonna cap on you. This is kind of like my real, like, kind of big interview. So if I'm over here, just like, yo, kind of back up on some shit. If my questions ain't whatever, you know what I mean? But, you know, I'll fuck with the music. You mean your answers, but yeah, I got you, though. Yeah, you know what I'm you know saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like, I've yo. been over to uh, freaking. Yeah. What's the name of that? Sorry, I gotta get yeah. the name of that. The spot that we've been to. Uh, at the at the big studio. Media tech. Media tech. Yes, okay, you went out to the media yes, tech. Yes, sir. If, okay. I'm, if I'm faulty, sorry, I'm over here just yeah. like do my thing. Bro. Yeah, yeah. You went out there, seen all the plaques on the wall, everything. Yes, yeah, so it was. And all the equipment didn't work. Then, yeah. no, nah, Jermaine. <laughs> and so what was what was crazy is, is that it was like kind of like how it was over my, at my old spot. Like, right, you know, right. I mean, don't get it wrong. I was right. out in the boonies, but literally, nah. I seen every single plaque up on the wall. Paul McCartney, Whitney yeah, Houston, yeah, yeah. her first album, anything that any yeah. legend you seen, yeah. I've seen on the plaque. So, yeah, you know, shout out to my boy you Super know. Day because some of them plaques on the walls are my boy Super Day. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shout out to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It goes yeah, 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 go, yeah, 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 go, yeah, like go down. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So what else have you been? So I've been pretty much doing that up and uh, that was, that's how we kind of started out. You know what I mean? Then we over here roll up to Media Tech, you know what I mean? And we actually met up with some, uh, we were actually up in the kind of like a TV show kind of setting right. with like some different artists around the city, you know what I mean? And it was kind of like, kind of crazy how it just all connected. They all, it was like literally like 40, like it had to be like at least 30 people up in the studio. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, you know, me and Cruz, like we had a studio session and you know, we pull up and we knock on the door and they're like, yo, what's up? And so we, like, you know, meet all these artists and, you know what I mean, if I fumble your name, you know what I mean, I got, um, I, if I can look through my connect right yeah. now, hold up, let me, let me give the shout out right here, you know what I mean, let me at least do the shout out right here because, you know. Yeah, do your shout out, I mean, in nice beat you made, you know what I'm saying, that mode was jamming, man, like, you know, uh. Right on the spot, you know what I'm saying. So, so since you done been baptized by the Akai MPC yeah. Holy Water, you know what I'm saying, 3.0, you know what I'm saying? So you no longer Fruit Loose, right? That's a whole new level. As you soon as soon as I put that 16 level right there with the 8 away and kind of go crazy, man, I ain't even go cap man, on you. And, I, and you ain't even got it deep into it yet. I ain't even show you how the, the yeah. VSTs just pull right up yeah, on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like... Hey man, say the thing is crazy, man. The thing is crazy, man. So, I'm turning, hey, hey, whatever you are out there, I'm turning mm -hmm. you out. You, I, a car gang, NPC gang. Hey. We going, we going full fledged. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. What about them cowboys? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just gonna laugh at me like that? <laughs> oh man, that's no, messed up. No, I know the cowboys I doing terrible. No, I mess with the cowboys. That's yeah, my favorite. But they season, terrible. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They. <laughs> like, just, see, you <laughs> nah, they ain't terrible. How you just gonna clown us yeah, like that? You man, can't, you man, you can't come over here to Seattle, man, and try to clown us, man. I even, you I'm just, just laughing you, because you I'm, just I'm a cowboy. You just said that like, we terrible, man. I know you. Well, you no, I didn't think you did. Oh, my damn. Bro, you over here nah, laughing about I'm like, yo, I'm nah, like, nah, man, I, I just, was just, over here like, dang, I'm glad you were cowboy. I mean, what a cowboy did is dump the juice. But you know what I'm saying? Damn, you ain't got to call him dump. Nah, man, you tripping. <laughs> man, nah, you true, man. I ain't gonna play with you today, man. Nah, Jerry Jones, man, he done figured it out. He know, yeah. he know, and I just <sighs> wings. We need to get it together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, but we, but but Dallas, you know, we we contenders. One one yeah. thing about Dallas, we are we are contenders. I don't give a damn from our soccer team. I mean, we got the Bur Bur um, Burns. You know what I'm saying? Sidekicks. 
got the Mavericks, you know what I'm saying, the Wings, and the Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? Like, we always there, but it's like, we always get here and just like, pow, just, yeah. Like, in the 90s, we had that run. You know what I'm saying? I remember when Seattle, I remember when y'all had y'all little run. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all were looking all right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? With the lime green and the blue, mm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You suited up. You know what I'm saying? Booted up. You know what I'm saying? But the Cowboys, I don't know what they think. The trade we had was trash. Trash. It was just, I just feel like, no no disrespect to none of them players because I know it's hard to be out there in the field and do what they do. It just sometimes, you know, you got to know how to pick them. And you got to know what plays to run. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And Dak. <sighs> we could have, you know, signed more send them players back. too. That's, his new, that's the new logo. Everybody get a shirt. Say, Dak, Dak send them back. <laughs> Dak send them back. <laughs> I love my cowboy. Shout out, man. Don't come to me talking about it, man. How you just gonna talk about Dax in the back? <laughs> you can't be doing that, man. I didn't even say it. That was you. I'm over here. <laughs> okay, well, I said it, man. Y'all got a problem. So get, get with me in the comments. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nigga, Dax in them back. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? So, man, before we get up out of here, man, you know what I'm saying? Because you really ain't tell me what you saw in Dallas. Yeah. I know you saw some things. Yeah. Yeah, what's, yeah, I know you saw some things. Yeah. It's all right, you know what I'm saying? I got ADHD too, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? You know, shoot. But I never took Ritalin though, you know what I'm saying? I just uh, smoked a lot of it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I do. So I'm going to ask you this question. What's the best experience you had since you've been here? Man. Outside of the studio. Outside of the studio? Outside of the studio. Can it be a show that I did? No music. No music? All right. Best thing I did was honestly just chill with the guys, eat at a rooftop spot. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. Okay. You have you had some Rudy's? Some Rudy's? No. T Tweeze ain't doing his job. You have you had some uh uh sweet Georgia Brown? No, 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 no. Oh mom knew it. Hey, 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 have you had some Lisa's? Nah, nah. Oh my damn! Uh, uh hey, what, have you had some halls? Some what? Halls chickens. Nah, nah, nah. Oh my damn! What about Big Mamas? <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy, you ain't been in Dallas yet. <laughs> you you gotta know the culture. Have you been on Jefferson? No. Nah. nah, nah. Uh, what hood you from? <laughs> <laughs> what you claim? It, how is it? But did they did they came bang in Seattle? I mean, yeah, yeah, some do. Yeah. yeah, is it rough out there in Seattle? Yeah, it definitely can be rough. So what's they, what's they, what's they, what they do out of Seattle to, you know, make they paper? You ain't got to go do deep. What, what, yeah. what, you know, because every everywhere is different. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah. what's y'all hustle up there? Sure, man. I'm going to expose them like that. Nah, don't expose them like that. <laughs> right, Just, no, 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 you know what I'm saying? Just they like, be over here, you know, like they can. Some could be some scams. Some, okay, okay. Some some could be some scams. Some could uh -huh. be some, you know what I mean? Like some, you know, block runners type stuff, mm -hmm. you know, on the block, you mm -hmm. know, some, you know, uh shit. Ain't no entrepreneurs like people owning stores, selling oh, stuff, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, anybody yeah, got a CD shop, everybody sell CDs back in the day, anything yeah, like that. No, 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 no. No. It it's kinda like I mean, they do, but the record shots come far, few and far between. You know what I mean? That the dark hustles like that. The the good hustles more like, more like kind of like entrepreneurship, like right. kind of just like uh, you know, we have a lot of like big companies out there like Microsoft and Amazon yeah. and things like that. So people try to do that. I mean, shoot. So that's money, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah so and, yeah, and then the people who don't have money, it's a whole nother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a whole nother story. So let me ask you this though, before we get up out of here too, I got one more, more question to ask you. Um, knowing that and growing up from Seattle, you know, and going through all that and making your way, especially down here and transitioning your life, I, I can tell that you went another route. So that's good. Come in to you. You know what I'm saying? Stay on the right path. You know what I'm saying? I always. Stay focused, ready to learn. And when you're doing something and you part of a group or whatever you're doing in your life, don't ever let yourself feel ashamed of anybody that you're around 
just because of the stuff that the next person next to you are going through. You know what I'm saying? I always try to encourage them and lift them up no matter what they go through. You know what I'm saying? Because it's easy to, you know, throw away trash. You know what I'm saying? When trash is always go. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But before I get to this, I, I want to know, um, I just had to get that out of my chest. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I always got to have good food, yeah, food like for that. thought. I like that. Um, Knowing that um, the time, I can't really say the word, but during the 19, when we had the mask up, and um, Seattle, it was rough at that time. Was you there at that period when everybody was, you know, down in the streets, not going home? And yeah, yeah, it was it was pretty crazy. You was know? you out there? I'm yeah. You was out there, <laughs> not, for but real? like not like in like you know what I mean. Cause there's two types of people, you know. Right. I mean? There's two uh -huh. people. There's two people. There's, you know, what I mean, they want to, you know, they either want to lose or they want to stand for some. You know right. I mean? So I was just the person that was just trying to stand for some. You were standing for some, right? Yeah. Yes, well, sir. Right. So what was that experience like though? Because that was like, cause you know that's part of history now. Yeah. So like years from now, you know, that's gonna be it probably in the history book, and it's gonna be a whole bunch of photos and that. So what, what was that experience like? Man, it was kind of crazy because it was just like a. It was just kind of just like a a shock and just not even, well, yeah, more like a shock of just kind of just how things are transpiring and just, it was more of just like people just really had enough because there really was a lot of like kind of, you know, stuff that was just like just underground that they were trying to keep hush hush, you know right. what I mean? There was people that, you know, and then once they started you know, rebelling back, then they kind of started exposing some things that were, that was happening right. in kind of the system and those situations. So now they're over here trying to uh, change the situation now. So right. it, it's kind of crazy kind of how everything transpired, you know, and still like now people are still trying to recover and everything has changed. Like not everything has changed, but a lot of stuff has changed with uh, when it comes with Seattle too, because right. it just, how everything transpired, you know what I mean? Like they st started uh, trying to shut down more music venues, you know what I mean? And try to have more apartments, you know? And they're trying to, you know, just like, I feel like it should just, what we had before was like, you know what I mean? It's gone. It, it's not gone, but, but it's like, almost there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, right. Yeah, it's Gentrified. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that too. And, right. And like, I feel like, but we're, on the come up and then and on it again you know so right. even at this point like there's no i don't try to even show despair because there's no despair i feel like we're just gonna go up and from right here you know but things have changed and i feel like we're gonna we're just gonna find uh our own spots and our own situations where we can make them better you know what mm -hmm. i mean and find our own presence you know what i mean mm -hmm. and so i feel like that's kind of like the biggest thing that i can take with like seattle is that or even Washington and in itself, you know, right. I mean, or any place that just like, you know, when when we're tired of something, we're tired of it. You yeah. know what I mean? I yeah. mean, this is, you know what I mean? Habit stuff and, you know what I mean? Not even, it's like literally like, you know, this happened before with like Rosa Parks. Like, you know, Rosa Parks wasn't the only one that that uh was the first one that was trying to sit in the front of the bus. Right. You know what I mean? So it took several black people before to get to her to have the movement. Right. Because of literally... Her movement that she had and that right. you know what I mean she was known around all these places she was doing dresses for you know what I mean white churches and all this other stuff you right. know what I mean and so when you get known like that and you're just somebody like that then mm -hmm. you know what I mean yeah. it's a big effect you know facts, what I mean facts. so 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 now y'all recovering y'all coming out this shit so what word of advice that would you give anybody trying to pursue anything in life because a lot of our cities and states have skeletons. And a lot of us, we just, we are programmed. And what I mean that we're programmed, every, every, every one of us, we, we are raised either by TV, radio, or what you see in the streets. You know, and um, sometimes we don't get a chance to reset, you know? So we, so we, we, we stuck in that, what you call the, Red pill, blue pill, the matrix. You know, so what word of advice would you give somebody that's trying to pursue anything in life? 
You know what I'm saying? In the famous words of Tupac, against all lies. <laughs> yes, sir. I feel like um, to take a deep breath and just to be patient with yourself um, and see that there's more in this world than what you think. Right. You know, your mind is so much more powerful than even that you know. You know what I mean? Even that I know, you know. So use it to your best ability and, you know what I mean? See what you really see for and feel what you really feel, you know. And, you know, I feel like, you know, live your life, you know what I mean, without the opinion of other people and just live how you feel, you know what I mean? Do, do, do you, you know what I mean? Take the opinions of others and all that, but, like, focus on yourself and get to it, you know? Right. I appreciate that, man. I hope my viewers appreciate that too, man. Just like I appreciate you coming up here, showing up and showing that love. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying, Drippy Hog. You know what I'm talking about? T Squeeze, my boy Cruz, man. Circle you. You know what I'm saying? Circle you. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. You know what I'm talking about? The whole clip, prime, all y'all. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, baby, we coming. So I always ask this question. Please open up your mind and span. Yeah. Get past the fifth dimension once I ask it. You know, if you was in my shoes, what question would you ask yourself that I didn't ask? Um, where would you want to see yourself in five years? And what would your answer be? Well, my freedom of mind and my Success leads, uh, that's where I'll be. Right. Right. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Your mind going to always take you where you want to go. You know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about reading Rainbow. You know what I'm saying? Our finger rest started rapping. Y'all ain't even see that, though, but I had to catch myself. You know? <laughs> but, nah, it's true. Like, you know, you know, you you going you gonna to get wherever. Anything that you think, anything that you say is going to always come to light is always gonna come to fruition. So plant the seeds, keep speaking it. <coughs> Just like they say the affirmations, put it out there in the universe and watch it come tenfold. You know what I'm saying? And two for the generation like you and the ones that come up for you. Always be a man. First and foremost. Some that we kind of forgot. See, when the generation like y'all and our kids and all that, we always treat them like homeboys instead of actually being a man and being a leader and actually giving direction. You know what I'm saying? And if, you, if we start bringing that back and your generation start bringing that back, start grabbing a person, putting them in this switch situation, taking them out from this, you know, I think we are, uh, I think once we be gone, I think we'll be better off really fighting this war because we always in the war. Every day we wake up, we're in the war. You know what I'm saying? But I appreciate you coming. And everybody out there, stay focused. Don't let entertainment fool you. Don't be caught up in the smoke and mirrors. Whatever you do, do it to the fullest. And just because it's turmoil going on in life don't mean you can't enjoy it. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Still enjoy your life, you know what I'm saying? But I always know, like he said, I always know. You know what I'm saying? I always be prepared because you never know, you know. So appreciate you, man. You know what I'm, saying? Saying, I'm sorry I left it on a deep note, man, but I just had to. I guess people need to hear this, man, because today, man, it's been wild, man. I go outside in the morning, it's raining. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker slipping, sliding all on the freeway, woo, woo, woo. Next thing you know, I walk, walk to work and police there. I'm like, boom, they say, come here, let me show you this. Man, take me to a car, truck full of stolen stuff. All AV equipment. Man, I'm like, golly. Then police come back in there, whole nother set. Talking about dude went up through the whole hotel, done went all the way from 28th floor all the way down, robbing everything. They got safes, computers, uh, I passed the whole nine. 
We get Rob Blind. And stayed there a whole week. He in the penthouse. He done broke into the penthouse, got crack pipe all in there. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Cigarette butts all up in the penthouse. Been wild, man. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? Because it's also because right, it's hard out here too, man. Everything high. Everything high. You know what I'm saying? Everything high, you know? Yeah. But shoot, if it, like, I'm a, man, hey, like you say, take it one day at a time, relax your mind, think it through. You know what I'm saying? We about this bitch. Appreciate y'all doing up in this motherfucker. And we about this bitch. What's up? Walk up to my feet, hurt the slayer, yeah. yeah. Better yeah. off the worst, took the good, we can pay. Yeah. I'm talking about a little, little corn, man. Yeah. I'm talking about a little, little corn, man.